Hello there, Michaelers. It's Pearl Jr. here, of course, in a rush again, because I'm going out uh, to sell my Stays All Day Shea. Before we get into the Michael news, which I have some, okay, uh, I want to let you guys know, okay, I gave the two Michael Joes away. Congratulations. Uh, for who ordered it, but guess what I have now for a special. I like sometimes when I fill these pouches up, I have a little bit extra, right? So either I can save the extra or I can throw it away. So I was thinking like this is an extra of Go Go Channel, which is based off of Coco Chanel, inspired by Coco Chanel. Smells a lot like Coco Chanel. It smells good. It's my number one seller. So it's just a little bit, but I will give you guys these little bits as an extra gift. Like I got Coco Chanel. I got the essential oils happy, which I call happy days because that's one of my favorite shows when I grew up as a kid. Um, I have Flowers Blasting. This is another, um, based off of the very popular fragrance Flower Bomb. Um, so order one, and I'll give you one of these little samples so you can sample another fragrance. Bougie Silky, based off of Gucci Guilty, another top seller. Um, I got another Coco Chanel. I got Unscented. I got, oh, fragrance oil, eucalyptus, eucalyptus, excuse me, essential oil. This one you can use instead of Vicks uh, vapor rub on your chest if you get a little congested. Uh, so I got eucalyptus. Um, I That's a essential oil. Lavender fragrance oil smells freaking fantastic. Um, I have Doré Cherry, another top seller. Doré Cherry, okay. This one's a lot, got a lot in it. Um, this one is Love Potion Number 10. There's a little song called, because I used the number 10. Okay, so Love Potion Number 10. Not a lot, but it's an essential oil. And I have a, oh, uh, Chanel Number 5, which I call Channel Number 9. <laughs> so uh, these are all ones that I will give away when you order a Stays All Day uh, Shea regular order. I will give every give every order one of these. You can't pick. You can ask me if I still have it, uh, which sample you want, okay? So you'll get the one that you ordered, and you will also get a sample, uh, so you can sample another fragrance, okay? So what did I have? 10, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I got the lucky number 11, so I got 11 of those, okay? Um, so go to uh, staysalldayshea.com uh, or or SheaButterPerfumeStore.com and be sure to order uh, one of the regular uh, Stays All Day Shea and then you'll get a sample to sample another fragrance, okay? And they are nice and they're smooth and they're really, really excellent. They smell so good. Okay, somebody did a commercial for me. You guys see it real quick? Let me show you the commercial that somebody did for me. It was so sweet. Um, it, you know, these guys just came up and they were like, oh, I just want to do a commercial for you. So let me show you real quick, okay? So it stays all day shade. All right, so stays here we go. Uh, da, da, da. We're going to start all over. Okay, here we go. Pearl. Pearl with the stays all day shade. Fantastic. Fantastic product. It's soft. You know, it, it absorbs in the skin real nicely, but to top it off, the smell. She's got these right. fragrances you're looking for. Stay all day shape. Check it out. Yeah, that's right. All right, yeah. that was great. That was uh, great. Here on this lovely that's Tuesday amazing. afternoon, here with Pearl. Pearl with the Stays All Day Shape. Fantastic. Fantastic product. It's soft. You know, it, it absorbs in the skin real nicely, but to top it off, the smell. She's got these right. fragrances you're looking for. Stay all day shape. Check it out. Yeah, that's right. All right. All right. Okay. So wasn't that sweet? So they just gave it to me. How nice is that? Right? That was so super sweet. All right. So there was a couple of things. I couldn't find it this morning. Okay, I found where they said the 2005 trial, they said Michael Joe Jackson, but I can't find it now. So I'll just have to give you guys a link. I know somebody sent it to me from a Greek website and a Greek YouTube, and I, I can't find it right now. And I don't have time to look for it. Um, there is a lot going on. Okay, Chris Rock. Okay, let's get to Chris Rock first. Okay. Chris Rock. Chris, why you trip? Why you have to do this? You know, and then he's a Prince fan. So at least he loves Prince uh, Rogers Nelson. Okay, here we go with uh, with uh, Chris Rock. The selective outrage. Selective outrage. Everybody over them talking about one person. 
Somebody else does the exact same thing? No. You know what I'm talking about. You know, like the kind of people that play Michael Jackson songs who won't play R. Kelly? Wrong. Same crime. No, it ain't. All right. All right, Chris. So, of course, I had to send him the links to the 60 Lives of Leaving Neverland and also other messages telling him because he's inviting them, you know, he and, and telling him that R. Kelly was acquitted. Mike, I mean, R, excuse me. Woo. He was acquitted, but then he was found guilty. R. Kelly was found guilty. He was acquitted at one point. On the same day, June 13th, a few years later. But then R. Kelly got convicted. And R. Kelly will probably spend the rest of his life in jail. It is not the same crime. Michael got totally vindicated. Michael got acquitted as well. Okay? And no uh, FBI, CIA... Because uh, Michael even wrote it in a song that the CIA was looking for him because they were traveling all over the world looking for supposed uh, victims of Michael Jackson. Um, uh, Child and Family Services, LAPD, Santa Barbara PD, 13-week trial, Child and Family Services. Um, um, every Everybody looked, okay? And every media source as well. Okay, and they could not find anything except for words coming out of liars, liars, liars mouths. That's it. Okay, so Chris Rock, he really shouldn't have done it. I know it sounds like a clever joke. You know what I mean? Selective outrage. We all got selective outrage. There's nothing new about selective outrage. We all got it. We all use it just like he uses it. You know, you can't be outraged about everything in the whole wide world because You'd you be mad all the time, right? So, uh, Chris, that wasn't cool. That wasn't cool. Michael was totally, totally acquitted and vindicated. Never found anything. Never found any kids' DNA in his bed because Michael slept on the floor in sleeping bags. Never found any child pornography. Michael had adult pornography and he had girly pornography. So, you know, it, it, it was just... That that wasn't cool. And a lot of people didn't think his special was all that funny. And he's probably a little bit angry because, you know, Chris, Chris, um, excuse me, Will Smith slapped the crap out of him, you know, and um, gosh, you know, dang, he, he, whatever. So anyway, so I have, you know, sent stuff to Chris Rock so he can learn the truth that Michael Jackson is innocent of all charges. Michael Jackson is Matter of fact, it's the exact opposite. Michael hung around prepubescent boys so that they would not sexually harass him or they would not have crushes on him, you know, so that he could go and have fun and, and just be silly and have, you know, boy fun like boys do, you know, like when you're a kid, you hang around with other boys because you like to do boy things. Michael liked masculine boys. None of the, the kids Michael hung out with grew up to be gay. None of them. None of the pre pubescent boys that Michael hung out with grew up to be gay. And if Michael was grooming and doing all this, and that's your first sexual experience and all that, trust me, they would have been, all of them probably would have grew, grew up to be gay, all right? Or bisexual in some kind of way. Aaron Carter said he was bisexual, but Michael didn't meet him until he was, you know, a teenager. You know, so that doesn't even count. And Aaron ended up being with a woman and having a child and all that other stuff. And unfortunately, Aaron is dead, unfortunately. All right. Um, uh, there was a little clip of Elvis Presley singing with a little girl. I might post a link to it, but I don't have time right now. I want to get to this, though. And I thought that this was kind of sad. Okay. Now, so that um, we're... here we go. Okay. Here we go. This is Taj Jackson. Okay, and we'll watch and then we'll talk. The, um, the people that were uh, 
um, there every day. Uh, fighting for Michael's legacy. <laughs> I was gonna put the, I was gonna put this part at the end, cause I, um, knew I was gonna cry. I don't know why. I don't cry about anything, but the strength that you guys have had, <laughs> I feel that strength. I'm a naturally shy person. I'm someone that doesn't like the spotlight. I don't like, I mean, this is awkward for me to do, but you guys have been truly amazing. And it's something that I just, I can't tell you in that, in, in the belief you've had in me in that way. Because I can understand my uncle. I can understand you saying we want this for my for Michael Jackson, whatever. But translating that back to me, and, and I've had bad days. I've had good days. But reading your comments, it's like you've 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 really made it me feel that we got this and we, we're going to do this, and and now we are, and that. So I would say that I'm very thankful for you guys. In general, not just because you're fighting for Michael Jackson, but um, I feel that love. I am I'm an empath, so I naturally can't not feel that love. But also, I feel that strength as well. And we've been through a lot, guys. We've we've been through a lot, and so I, I'm eternally grateful for that aspect of it. And that's one of the reasons why I've been so picky is because I don't want to let you guys down either. And that. So, um, here, where are we at now? All right. Get her done, Taj. Okay? Put on your big boy pants, okay? And get the documentary done. You must get it done because you have collected $250,000 of fans' money. So, you have to get the documentary done. Okay? You have to. You have to, honey. You have to. Okay, you got to get it done or you're going to have to return the entire $252,000 to the fans. One or the other. Okay, because, you know, these fans believed in you and you can do it. You can do it, Punchinella 47. We know you can do it, Punchinella 48. Now, who do you choose, Punchinella 47? Okay, it's a little teenage song, a little kindergarten song that I don't know why that came to my mind right there. But it was a cute little song that I, I sang when I was in like kindergarten, third grade. But Punchinella, you can do it. Come on, come on, Taj. You can do it. You can do it. Doesn't have to be all fancy, all that other stuff. Get the information out. And then hire graphic artists to punch it up, to make it a little bit better, okay? But get the story down, get the facts down, get a timeline down, just get it uh, linear. That's all you need to do, okay? And then once you get that done, then you can punch it up with fancy graphics and, and fancy little cuts and, and whatever you want to do. But make sure you get that timeline and you get that information out. We're just, the, and, and look at other documentaries. All of them don't have a whole bunch of graphics and a whole bunch of fancy stuff. They're just good quality, good story, compelling, the facts, and you can do it, Taj. You can do it. You can do it. Okay, you can do it. Okay, he needs a pep talk. Come on, Taj. I'm going to call you Punchinella. You can do it, honey. I have... Um, did um, the 60 Lies two videos. Okay, let me see if I can find those real quick. I did two videos and here they are. Okay, here's one. Where's the other one? Because I know I pulled them both up. Um, uh, well, they're around the seven days, the same days. Okay, Taj, here's one. There's more than 40, but these four. Okay, here's 40. Here, here I did this for you, really. Okay, when you said you were doing the documentaries, I really, really had you in mind that I would have a place that you can go 
and you could just say, okay, did I include this? Do I include this? Should I, should I? And just gave you a list of things that once you get it done, you can, um, uh, you can double check and make sure you got everything in there. And then that's the 40 lies. And then where's mine with the 60 lies? There's one I did with the 60 lies. Uh, okay, where is the other one? This is my history. Uh, 40 lies. Well, I did one with the 60 lies, and I'll, I'll find it too. It's around that same day, uh, April 11th, April something. Um, let me see if I can find that. It should have been in my history. What's going on with my history page? Uh, let, let me, let me go to my page. Uh, here we go. And then I want to, okay, there we go. And uh, there's a 60 lies one. What day is this? This day is April 7th. And then there's an April 11th. Let me go see if I can find that real quick. Meanwhile, while I'm looking for that, guys, while I'm looking for that, um, uh, Jeffrey, who has been found, uh, Latoya's ex-boyfriend, ex-manager. Well, you know, he had all this stuff of Mike was including that driver's license that the coroner lied and said he used to identify the dead body. You cannot use an expired license. So it had to be the most recent. And the most recent, T TMZ got the publicly available driver's license. And that's in the name of Michael Joe Jackson. So the coroner lied and said he had that driver's license. He sent it back to the California Department of Motor Vehicles, but he didn't. Uh, and the California Motor Vehicle sent me in writing the lawyer that they didn't have it. So Jeffrey had it all this time. So, and then we got the alleged incident, alleged victim, alleged date. Come on. I mean, the coroner lied about identifying the dead body. Then there's all kinds of stuff. The dental records didn't match. Talking about they're incomplete. I mean, come on. It, it, the wrong name on every single solitary death document. Come on. So anyway, um, um, uh, Jeffrey. Jeff, Catherine is not going to be deposed because Jeffrey says that Catherine asked her, um, asked him and Latoya to pick up Michael's stuff because they had to leave and to save it for him. And I believe that there's probably a little bit of truth to that. There, there, there's a little, I think is a little bit of, uh, of truth to that because it would make sense that she told Latoya because Latoya and Jeffrey were there the night of the 25th all the way to Independence Day. Wink, wink, right? Michael's independence. This would be the greatest demonstration for freedom in the history of our nation. The first, this is it promo. I mean, come on. Michael faked his death to get his freedom. Even Conrad Murray said in one of my videos, I had him recorded saying, I gave Michael his freedom. Okay. So let, let, let's just, you know, I mean, come on. Okay. It, it, and so much, so much more. I would not have six, 600 death hoax videos if there was nothing to Michael Jackson's death hoax. Okay. So where is the 60 lies of leaving Neverland? Uh, let's see. Um, let me see where they are. Uh, the 60 lies of leaving Neverland has to be somewhere. The top five lies of leaving Neverland I did too. And then I did the 60 lies. Uh, where is the 60 lies? 40 lies. Here it is. And here's the one with the 60 lies of leaving Neverland. Okay. Taj, I did these for you. I really, really did. You know, I really, really listed them. Okay. So I know you're going beyond all this other stuff. And I got the trial and triumph of the King of Pop as well. That documentary as well. Um, so hopefully, you know, make it, keep it simple. Kiss it. Mm -hmm. Keep it simple, stupid, right? Keep okay, so there you have it. Okay. So um, you know, will he listen? I don't know, but hey, I got it simple for you. Okay. Um, okay. So then Michael and Prince were trending. Prince Rogers Nelson and Michael been trending for days, but Prince was trending, and then Chris Tucker, I mean Chris Rock had a Prince symbol. Um, but he didn't dog Prince, so that was cool, you know. I ain't got no hate for Prince, but um uh, so that's good. Okay. The MJ trust. Okay. Where Michael's a trustee and trustor and Michael's the one that can come back and change it at any time. The trust says that the first paragraph after, you know, who's the trustee and trustor says he can change it at any time. So that's why Paris Prince and blank his name ain't in it. So in case they got grown and they wanted to trip, 
Okay, he can either put their name in or put their name out. Right now, their name is not mentioned in Michael Jackson's trust. Their name does not. It just says Michael Jackson Family Trust is the benefactor and Catherine's the head of that. Um, uh, um, so I think he did that on purpose. Okay, so let me let me show you guys that real quick. Let me show you that real quick. Michael can change it at any time. Okay, because if Michael never comes back, he, he, he can't change it or they're going to have to come to us and, 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 and admit that, you know, Michael faked his death or maybe the courts know because they're the ones, the courts are the ones that uh, did alleged victim, alleged, alleged, alleged incident, less victim, alleged day. So they know trade secrets. Okay. It's all, it's all a game. It's all Michael faked his death, period, period, period. Okay, um, here it is. Michael Jackson is the Michael Jackson Family Trust. Okay, they're the ones that get everything. It was established in 95, but it was redacted in 2002. Okay, um, which is after Paris, Pence, and Blanket were born. Okay, uh, let's see. Um, right here, it says the trust store... Um, Michael Joseph Jackson told you all death documents are in the wrong name. Now, Michael can call himself whatever he wants, but other people cannot. Other people who are filling out documents must use his full legal name. Okay. Uh, he is the trustee and he is the trustor. And then the benefactors, Michael Jackson Family Trust, the trustor has reserved the right to amend the trust. So he can change it at any time. Okay. Michael has it all covered, but you just have to be, um, you know, kind of astute enough to uh, get what he's doing. You know, you got to be able to understand the games that he plays. Let me do this again. Let you guys know that it was redacted um, in 2002 after all of them were born. Let me see. Uh, the whole trust is in here, but it was redacted 2002. Okay. After, after, um, I think it was March something, March 2000 and here it is. Here's the whole thing. Okay. Oh, why is it cut off? Hmm. Dang, this is not good. I thought I had it saved. I have a PDF and it's not even in. Okay. Uh, I got to get out of here. I got to go. All right. So um, anyway, uh, so LA Times, I, I'll just have to get to that later. I'm sorry, but it, it was redacted 2002. You guys want to check me? Go ahead. All right. So then we have here. We have, I have more stuff up for you guys. All right. We got the vitiligo. That's one thing that I didn't talk about that I had lost my train of thought was the vitiligo. So there is stuff that you can use that can bring back your skin color. So Michael can come back as an African-American. He, I mean, he is an African-American. He'll never change that. But with his regular skin color, it is possible. They've made a lot of advancements with vitiligo to bring back your pigmentation. So, you know, I wonder if Michael's walking around as a regular looking African American guy instead of, you know, with the, with the, um, um, uh, you know, I don't want to call it dis diseased skin, but it is. He has a disease and it got rid of the pigmentation. Um, okay. The Michael Jackson biopic. Okay. This is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking the biopic is going to be off the wall and thriller. Okay. Um, because it's, Michael has just too much in his life to do a short movie with, right? At least that's what I'm thinking because Jafar would, the way he looks, and he's supposed to be the only Michael so far that they've hired, um, uh, is off the wall thriller. So he can do off the wall thriller. So I'm thinking maybe the reason why the thriller documentary hasn't been released is because they want that to lead off the promotion for the biopic. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Because it's going to be Michael Mania. Okay. Now, um, 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 it's supposed to cost $120 million, which means that most of the money is going to be above the line cost. Above the line means the actors uh, and the directors and the producer and the writer. Okay. The production and the, the, the cost is not that much because what they're not going to be a lot of explosions and a lot of other stuff. But they said it's going to cost $120 million and it's going to have a cast of 65 people and a 300 per, 300 
300 member crew. Okay. And um, it's supposed to cost $120 million. Wow. Okay. So we're going to have to work out because John Bronco said it's going to be the number one grow highest grossing movie in the history of the music. Uh, so if they, they expecting it to do $2 billion. Okay. That's what I'm thinking. They're expecting it to be $2 billion. Okay. Um, so that's what I'm thinking that it's going to be off the wall thriller, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, unless we get, uh, more news. And I think there's going to be more news, more news, more news that trickles out about it because they got to do a long promotion. And, um, and so, um, uh, Havenhurst. Okay. Um, it just got announced, uh, that Havenhurst, uh, that Havenhurst, here it is right here. Okay. Uh, is, is, uh, going to be closed down. So they're not going to be doing thriller night for t 2023. No thriller night for 2023. On behalf of the Los Angeles Foundation, we unfortunately will not be hosting thriller night this year. The magical property of Havenhurst will be in use for the upcoming biopic film, Michael. We will have thriller night return in 2024. Okay. I went by there yesterday. Okay. Because um, Havenhurst is not that far from where I live and it's one block off of the beaten path. Okay. Which I travel down all the time. So I went by there yesterday and, um, they had, uh, only thing I know that the gates closed. Okay. But they have five trash cans out there. So they're doing something. Okay. Five trash cans. Cause nobody's living there. Should have one trash can for like one, maybe the gardener comes and blah, blah, blah. But they're getting ready to fix that house up. Okay. And it needs to be fixed up. Okay. Because it was in, it was like, ugh, it was like unrenovated and it was like abandoned. You know, the house was abandoned. They had the victors coming out there, which means mosquitoes because of stagnant water with the pools and everything. So they had a mosquito problem there. So now they're fixing up Havenhurst and we wonder what they're doing with Neverland. Okay. Or is the story going to end right after Thriller? I don't know, but that's where, um, American Dream ended. Okay. That's where American Dream ended. So I, 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 you know, I don't know, but it's a lot to cover. Trust me. Okay. I wrote a script and oh my God, you know, it, 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 205 pages too long. And then I've extended it to 300 and some 300 pages. Right. And I don't even have everything I want in it. So how are they going to do a biopic? But they're the professionals. They're good. So we're going to see, um, you know, and even if it does extend beyond thriller, right. Even if it extends, because even with, um, um, what was it? MJ, the musical, it would dealt with Michael getting prepared for, uh, the bad rehearsals. Was it bad or was it dangerous? Maybe dangerous rehearsals. Um, um, so it ended before the child molestation stuff happened. So we're going to see what happens with that. Okay. Um, let's see what else I have. Uh, yeah, Catherine is not going to be deposed for the Jeffrey lawsuit, the estate versus Jeffrey Phillips lawsuit. Um, let's see. Uh, um, I think I'm done. I'm done. Okay, so please, you guys, um, help me with the Stays All Day Shay because I'm trying to do a live five. And then um, I want to, and also, you know, I'm saving money, you know, because Cecil, I got to pay his salary for, you know, four to six weeks. That's a lot of money. I haven't earned that much yet. Okay, like six weeks because Cecil got to take time off of work and not have any income, me either. I don't have any income except for what you guys do, which is not very much, you know, and we got bills to pay. So that is our biggest. And plus, you know, our camera's a little old, you know, we might have to update a, a, a few of our equipment and stuff. So we need some money in order to produce a live five. Michael Jackson survives and thrives, right? That's what it's going to be called. And the theme of it is the world watched, but didn't see. Okay. They watched, but they didn't see. Right. So, um, uh, so we have that and I think that is it. Um, so make sure that you order the stays all day, Shea fragrance, body butter, and
And also, um, I have it in jars. I have the whipped now. I got the whipped as well as the pouches, which is the mixed. All right. And I got some great fragrances. Oh, frankincense. If you like a woodsy smell and you want it essential and all natural, oh my God, frankincense is a great one, but it's expensive. It wasn't cheap. Okay. Um, Go Go Chanel, Go Go Channel is a favorite. Um, and oh my God, Bougie Silky, uh, all of them, all of them smell great. All of them, all of them, all of them smell great. I think I have some, uh, uh, one or two sing on sock, which is King of Pop, sing on sock, King of Pop, sing on sock. Okay. So anyway, I'm rambling. I got to get out of here because I have to go to, I have to go to, um, uh, I have, I have to go, um, to a farmer's market and I got to make some money. All right. Cause I got bills too. Just, just like you got bills. I got bills. <laughs> All right, guys. So I will talk to you later. Um, love you. MichaelJacksonInsider.com to watch the a live docu-series and, um, you know, uh, SheaButterPerfumeStore.com to order your stays all day Shea. All right. Love you. Bye-bye.